Are you tired of all the noise? The threat of violence? Stop and go traffic? The stress of life living in the city. Friends, we've been there. We've done that. Maybe with recent circumstances, you're on the fence. Maybe you're thinking about getting out. Now is the time. Hey friends, Michael and Dana here with Living Quite Simply, and we're excited to share with you seven reasons you should move to the country today. So number one is population density, and this brings about a number of points or benefits for moving to the country. One being, with a lower population density, you're going to have less crime. Less people there are, less violence. Lower population density also lowers your risk for social unrest. Another benefit is the chances of acquiring some disease or virus is less when you have less people that you live around. The second reason to move to the country is there is less traffic, and less traffic equals less stress. Not only is traffic more stressful, it takes away time from your life. When we're sitting in a car um, in traffic, it's really just wasting time that we could be spent with our families, that we could be spent um, in a garden, that we could be spending in any number of ways um, that are going to be much more productive. The third reason you should move to the country is because the water is so much more pure and the air is so much more fresh. I love going outside in the morning and getting a nice fresh breath of air um, as the air is still nice and cool in the morning. And doing that in the city, it's just not the same as it is out in the country where the air really just feels more pure. Also, the water generally tastes a lot better coming out of a well than it does out of a municipal system. Now, this isn't always the case. Um, you can get water in the country that doesn't taste as good. But that's something you want to look for before you decide on your specific place in the country. If you're finding value, go ahead and hit the like button. Reason number four is the lower cost of living. In our experience, we found that living in the country, our money went a lot further than it did when we were living in a major metropolitan area. This can be groceries, gas, but especially housing. Housing is going to generally be so much more expensive in the city than it's going to be in the country. So for the same price in the city, you're going to be able to afford something so much nicer for your family if you're in the country rather than in the city. Now, another way to look at this is that you don't need to make as much money when you are living in the country as you do when you're living in the city. So if you are considering a job change or if that would be necessary for you to move out of the city, then consider the fact that you can live on much less in the country than you currently are in the city. Here's a perfect example. When we moved out of Southern California, our first rental in North Central Washington was $900 a month. And we were on an acre, we had fruit trees, we had a garden, and we thought we were living the dream. In Southern California, we had a two bedroom apartment and we were paying the same, at maybe what, 950? We were paying 950, yeah. We were paying 950 for a two bedroom apartment in Southern California, so we were so excited. But then, after living there a year in Washington, and speaking to the locals, we found out that we were way overpaying for this place that we thought was great. So what did we do? We moved to a place that was much cheaper in the same area. Friends, you really will be amazed at how much more you can afford in the country than you can afford in the city. So if you are in the middle of really thinking about a move, and I want you to really start searching. And as you find places, we'd love to hear your stories. We'd love to hear that you are able to afford so much more in the country because it is really amazing the amount that you can afford compared to city living. The fifth reason to move to the country is the natural surroundings. Now, just a moment ago, we had two of our chickens were over here to the side of us and they were dust bathing um, in some dirt on our yard. And it is so amazing to be out in the country and to be able to enjoy the sights and the sounds of nature. When you're in the city, so many of the sights and sounds that are around you actually produce stress. But in the country, it has the opposite effect. It actually relieves stress, the things that are around you. And I wanna share a couple of studies really briefly. 
um, about the effects of the of our surroundings on our, our bodies, our health. Yeah, thank you. In an article on brainfacts.org, it says numerous studies have linked noise pollution to increased anxiety, depression, high blood pressure, heart disease, and stroke. Noise triggers the brain's fight or flight response. Another study found that people living in areas with more road traffic noise were 25% more likely than those living in quieter neighborhoods to have symptoms of depression. Now UC Berkeley has a magazine, Greater Good, and they had an article and they said, scientists are beginning to find evidence that being in nature has a profound impact on our brains and our behavior, helping us to reduce anxiety, brooding and stress, and increase our attention capacity, creativity, and our ability to connect with other people. Living in nature isn't just um, for the beauty, it really does make us more healthy. We are passionate about country living and we have experience. I hope you can tell. If so, subscribe, because there will be more videos like this. The sixth reason is simply for a different way of living and a different way of thinking because the two will likely go together. You need a paradigm shift. Moving from the city to the country is a complete 180. This is from our own experience, granted. So it's not all peaches and cream when moving to the country. There are some sacrifices that have to be made. So some of these sacrifices might include less conveniences. You're further away from the store, so you commute to the grocery store where it used to be five minutes to your local grocer, maybe it's 15, 20, even 30. We've lived in towns where it was 45 minutes to the closest stoplight. Yeah, it was an inconvenience, but it's something we really enjoyed and cherished because of some of the reasons Dana already talked to you about. The noise, the traffic, all those things. So there's always going to be trade-offs. For us, the trade-offs have always been worth it. There's no question um, the conveniences really aren't meaningful to us. But for some people, that is going to be a more difficult thing to let go of. So that is something that you're going to want to be aware of before um, choosing to move to the country. Right. Another option, and we found it somewhat of a challenge when we first moved to Washington, we were three hours from your local airport. And it wasn't even an international airport at that. That was hard for extended family to come and visit. And that might be a major factor for you. But obviously you want to weigh the pros and cons of everything and also there are country places in various locations so depending on what it is that you're looking for you can probably find it somewhere the last one on our list is to be able to grow your own food and granted i know there's urban farmers and whatnot but the reality is you can grow a lot more when you're out of the major metropolitan areas you can only grow so much on a patio. Our first garden was when we were in an apartment in Southern California. My husband and his brother made a raised bed garden and we were able to grow some of our food. But you can grow a much greater portion of your food when you have a larger piece of land. By growing your own food, in a sense you're living more independently because you're not having to rely on food sources, um, trucking, etc. and other infrastructure. But you're also more sustainable. And when you're growing your own things, you're able to put those things back into your land. Permaculture is something that we're coming to learn more of, but it's a beautiful benefit of being out in the country and working with your hands. Friends, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you haven't yet, please give a thumbs up. And until next time, bye.